Welcome back everybody to uh, co-op episode 5, uh, joined by Fangs again. Just been hanging out uh, up here, like I uh, crafted a couple new clubs. Uh, one for myself and Fang, and uh, Fang's out collecting resources. So, what I'm wanting to do is, uh, I'm wanting to go look at the uh, shanty town. Uh, it, I just got minor 69 -er. Level 1? Yep. Nice. Uh, actually, before I forget, I have a, I had an iron pickaxe. I'm like, I'm like, I should probably take that because there's a gun safe in there and it's gonna, and uh, I'm gonna have to beat into that. <laughs> I would like to not spend uh, spend the rest of eternity the eternity at that safe. Like I have been for a while. So I'm just yoinking. Multiple. I'm just yoinking the last uh. The last couple of forged iron out of there for uh, to repair my pickaxe. Yeah, not too bad to the de de degradation on the pickaxe. It went down to level 136. It's like level 142 or before. Bad. And figured we repaired that fire axe I found the other day, so at least do something. Anyway, guys, uh, while I'm roaming over there, uh, I'm going to row over to Shantytown, and I'll let you know once I'm over there. Oh. Alright, guys, uh, jumping in. Ah! Oh, Fangs just died again. That's like... Got in a tree, and then two zombies camped behind me, pinned me up against the tree. Couldn't oh. move. Oh, uh, Fangs, is, Fangs is up to ten deaths. Compared to my one, I'm not trying to make fun of you there. It's like I'm like, oh, ten deaths. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fangs has been a rough, has been having a rough time. So, I just gotta check out the old uh, loot here uh, in the. There's a little uh, shopping market. Uh, Fangs has never raided this place, but. Uh, well, he's a little bit busy with death at the moment, so... Hey... I don't die too often. No comment. Yeah, I know, I've died twice <laughs> as many times, so basically two times a day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, no comment on that. <laughs> no, it's like, uh... I, in this POI that I'm looting, like, uh... It's like, uh, a lot of people know it pretty fairly well, but it's, uh, um, where the gun safe is, there's, uh, landmines, uh, so. It's like, gotta, I, what I like to do in order to keep myself from not blowing up is I just shoot them with arrows. I'm like, I would like to not <laughs> kind of turn into a pile of ash like a Looney Tune. I know when I've played on my worlds, I've had someone blow themselves up before. It was funny. Yeah. And I'm pinned again. Are we already going to see Death 11? Killed one of them. You can do it, Fangs. I believe in you. I took them both out. Barely. And... Find and I'm being attacked from behind again! <laughs> I keep getting blinded whenever they attack me. Oh. Yeah, well, this... the stun rate was supposed to be low. I... Oh yeah, I set on very high. I immediately get stunned every time they hit me. Oh, the stun rate! Oh, and I just found a puffer jacket. And I found a wrench. I just light up that, and actually, before I decide to do anything stupid, I'm gonna try to hide behind a, a leather desk chair and uh, hope that it doesn't blow me up. Oh, uh, come, come on! Are you serious? Come on, you! What happened? It's. I'm trying to blow up the uh, blow up the uh, 
the uh, the gun safe who will blow up the mine that's uh, guarding the gun safe. Like there's three of them in here, and it's like that's just kind of like yeah, no, I'm not blowing up via arrows. All right, there might be an earth shattering. Why not blow them up with arrows? No, it's like the arrows aren't blowing them up. Oh, probably because your accuracy is terrible with them. Well, I think I'm hitting them, and it's like I like. I've done it before with normal arrows. Oh, oh! The the explosion caught me off guard. Jump scared me. I forgot how loud the mines can be on this version. I'm heading over. Well, I'm currently working on the gun safe, so yeah, riveting content for the viewers. But oh well, I can at least uh, be able. To there's two more mines of which don't blow up if you hit them, but it's like, uh, if you hit one, it's like they don't chain react, but which is kind of dumb, but, oh well. Yay. Wailing on this. Just give me a second, guys. You now know my pain. <laughs> Find a way. Work. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, I'm already halfway through it. Yeah. Past 7.50. Yeah. <laughs> the Iron Pickaxe even is just so much of an upgrade over the, uh, over, good th over the Stone Axe. I think I'm gonna save for steel smithing. Oh yeah, what no, what is your um Oh I'm already broken in. Hey, good shotgun perks and uh, another shotgun short stock and a hunting rifle barrel. Nice. And there is there any other saves? No, that's the only other thing in the uh, in the gun save is the gun save, like that's the main loot of this place. Uh, it's, there's like popping pills cases, like you know the, the pills cases around here, but other than some beverage coolers, there's not too much. It's like, uh... hey, I found a potato. Nice. Can make a seed potato out of that. Potato, potato, potato. That actually uh, make me one, making me want to ask you, do you? Hey, do you do any home cooking yourself? Yes. But tell me, what, what have you made before? Zucchini. Ooh, like zucchini bread or just regular zucchini? Zucchini, just regular. Yeah, it's like, uh... My, my dad, like, he, uh... <laughs> he's a really good cook, uh... He's, he's, uh... And, uh... Uh, you, you, I don't know if you've ever heard this kind of little terminology before, but uh, he cooks by imagination. He, uh, he's uh, one of those people. Uh, it's like uh, where it's like he kind of thinks of something and he just starts kind of cooking. And and it, it, in all the years he's cooked uh, food for us, it's like uh, it, like he's only had two failures. Like uh, and we, uh, so it's like he is really good at what he makes. It's like. Uh, um, it's like one, like he, he'll make his own, like, uh, you know, like, Sloppy Joes. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, he made, like, the last dish he made was, like, a whole pot of, like, Sloppy Joe mix. It's like, oh, that stuff's so good. It's like, uh, he make, he, he also makes, uh, really good chili, like, uh, and one thing is, like, I don't know if you're a, uh, Someone who likes a bit of uh, spiciness in your food. Uh, nope. He he Can't likes stand spiciness at all. <laughs> he put he actually puts salsa in his chili. It's like paste uh, brand, like a uh, medium chunky, like uh, it's a little it adds yeah. some it adds some kick into it. He like his reasoning behind it is like he he used to chop up uh, you know like a lot of onions and peppers and everything to throw into the uh, chili and he's like well actually salsa has this uh, has this uh, has all these ingredients in it and the sauce so it's like uh, it's like uh, 
and it also adds a little bit of spiciness, which my family really likes. Uh, it's like uh, he's like, why not just throw salsa in the chili? Just realize I'm at eight HP. <laughs> eight HP <laughs> hero. Uh, I'm just get back to base and throw stuff in into a chest just to do some more loot and be yeah, I'm mining like... some iron. But yeah, it's just like uh, um, one thing I made before is like uh, a dish. It's like I call it um, spam burger mac. It's like do you know like a uh, spam like ham in a can? Yeah. It's like oh, I absolutely we absolutely love spam. It's like uh, like we it's like it's like when I'm when I would make that dish. It's like uh, it's like you know tempting because I. I chop him up. I chop uh, the can up into cubes, like the ham itself. And it's like uh, then I just kind of snack on it. It's like uh, which might gross some people out, but it's like uh, it, it's just kind of what it is to be. I'm like I don't care. It's already it's already processed food. It's like it's gone through a factory and everything. It's like uh, but it's like it has a whole can of spam and then like a whole bag of like uh. Like a bigger bag of uh, macaroni elbows and everything, ground beef, and then I throw in a whole chopped yellow onion into it, and then uh, green chili peppers into it. Oh, I just chopped through a whole door and uh, it was unlocked. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, it's like a, it was only a wooden door. But uh, as I was saying, it's like I'll throw in like. And I throw this uh, seasoning that uh, we really like. It's called a uh, garlic jalapeno seasoning by Weber's. It's like it's really good stuff. It's like, uh, and it gives it a nice bit of kick, and but also it, like gives it like the smell of, like a uh, garlic. It's like it's it's good stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, threw it all in. It's like, uh, and it's like. Uh, my mom was at first saying like, "Oh, I could use a little bit of sour cream and everything," but it's like, my dad was like, "Damn, this is actually excellent. Like, this is just about perfect and everything. It's like, uh, like this is so good. Like, you know, you did an excellent job on it. Like, yeah, you know, it's like my mom helped me a little bit, you know, just like making sure to get all the ingredients in. But it's like, uh, it's like, oh, it is so good. Uh." And the thing with my dad cooking is, like, he, uh, he, uh, growing up as a kid, he, uh, his mom was the type of, uh, like, my grandma was the type where he basically told my dad, like, uh, you know, wouldn't let him, uh, didn't want him doing anything that would make a mess in their house, and, uh, and, uh, and so it's, like, basically, like, he, my dad never got to cook as a child, so he, uh, and so it's like, I think, as my dad told me, like, he, uh, started cooking once he moved in with my mom, and, like, uh, I think after they got married, or before they got married, I can't remember anymore, but, uh, and so it's like, he started cooking, and it's like, uh, cooked by imagination, and, you know, like, family friends of his, like, were like, like, you are a really good cook, and, uh, so it's like, he, he does, uh, he does an excellent job, it's like, had some very unusual ideas before, but it's like, uh, uh, it's one of those, it's like, he, kind of was, he's a master at his craft, despite, you know, like, uh, um, what am I trying to say? You know, not being allowed to kind of cook as a child. Oh, hey, another gun safe. Nice. Yeah, I looted the corpse and I found some ammo, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, hey, look, another gun safe. I, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I'm just gonna beat this in. And... Gun safe has a pistol barrel grip and then hunting rifle barrel and... Another shotgun receiver and a, uh... No, oh, another pistol barrel, uh... And a shotgun receiver in it, so... Uh... More upgrades. Oh, the squirrely dude's back. He followed me upstairs. Come here, buddy. You mean the crawler? No, the 
the standing version of the crawler. Uh, yeah. I found another football helmet. Nice. So if you find a if you find a uh, um another flashlight can make you it can make you a mining helmet if you want it. I'll take it. Oh. Yeah, not not bad loot. It's only midday too. Oh. Meanwhile, I'm just staring at the uh just staring at the cemetery. And there's a one zombie's walking and then there's a crawler and they're stuck at, uh, there's a gap but they're stuck between it and a tree. Uh, yeah, they can't figure out how to walk through a gap. Makes sense, they're just zombies. That's kind of what I like about this version. It's like, uh, the, uh, as composed, uh, compared to, like, all the P gameplay I've watched on, uh, PC, it's like, you know, these are kind of more traditional Romero-style zombies. Like, you know, they don't know, uh, you know, they're, they're dumb. Uh, it's like, I like that a lot, but it's like, I do I also like the, uh, kind of, as, you know, the PC players dub them the, uh, the super structural engineering degree zombies. Why? Where they, hey, what do those have? They basically can figure out the, the weak points of your base. Uh, like, it's programmed into their AI. Ah. Uh. So it's like, they actually know how, so if you have a, uh, so you have a ramp with a uh, like a little thin pole that'll actually run across that instead of run around. And then you know like the zombies on this version will sort of do that, but they actually like can follow paths and everything like that. Uh. Just the thing is, if you have like a a front of your base where it's really uh built up and everything, you gotta make sure like all your bases upgrade. Otherwise, like. If they if they find a path up to you, it's like they will uh, come and uh, grab you a like they will start beating on the weaker parts of your base. So it's kind of like a bit of a give and take. It's like they can be a little frustrating, but it's just kind of like that's how the zombies are. Yep. Okay, did another loot stashing, so... Questions, where do I want to... Where do I really want to go next? Because kind of... Kind of sort of run... Uh, run through most of the stuff, it's like... Might... Like, if you want to, after, uh... Next Horde Night, uh... Well, after the first Horde Night, uh... But we can... Uh, we can... Uh, go look for a new town. Out of that. It's like, I like it. If we're going to do a horde night, we should probably make our base some uh, small shelter away from our actual storage. I don't think they're going to collapse the bar. Famous last words. Exactly. Oh, good news. Even I you. Just... <laughs> what? I found you a flashlight. So now. Have has... we found a wrench yet? Yeah, I found a level four. I'm like, hey, it, it's a level four, but it's at least I can wrench stuff again. It'll work. That's all that matters. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking to myself, like, uh, because like yesterday I did a recording for uh, for my Get Rich or Die series, and it's like, uh, I'm like. Like, man, I wish I had steel smithing unlocked so I could make myself a good wrench, and it's like, that was like, uh, then I went over to the trader and, uh, started wrenching, uh, well, I was like, I wonder if you have enough uh, wrench, uh, steel for a wrench for me. Uh, it was Trader Bob, and it's like, I'm like, I need 12 steel, and you have, uh, you have, uh, 8 of it. I'm like, in the next closest traders to me are like a kilometer away and like Horde Knight's gonna be on day 14. Do I really wanna go run a, go run a few more kilometers over for just for like a... a single uh, wrench. I mean, my tools are at like, uh... They're in like the, the yellow quality range over in that playthrough, but I'm like... I'm like... Do... I'm like... I'm like... 
and I just unlocked the mini bike. I'm like, it wouldn't be that bad, but I'm like, I'm like, I don't even have the gas can schematic unlocked yet. Uh. So I'm like, I don't really want to waste, uh, you know, waste more fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I think I found another tank graveyard. Jeez, dude. That's like, I want to say, like, four or five, Third maybe. Third or fourth. I was just, I was just say like, the fifth one I found in this town alone. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just kind of like, the graveyards are becoming a meme in this town. Makes sense. Oh, actually, I just found a chainsaw in a car. Like, I found a whole chainsaw loaded with 200 fuel. Nice. Now I'm just like, man, I wish I had the I had the chainsaw schematic just so I could just so I could rip the engine out of it for a cement mixer. Why you want cement mixer? So we could, you know, like, that way, like, you know, once we get, a, you know, finally start making a base, we can, uh, get concrete mix. That's a bit off, uh, ways off, ain't it? Hey, you gotta be thinking about the future. Yeah, and by then I'll probably have a hundred deaths, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't think it would be that bad. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> you're basically you're basically just telling me don't understand don't underestimate my dying capabilities. <laughs> I mean I'm not saying no to that. I'm probably gonna die a lot more. Um Have you have you gone over to the trader yet? I just wanna Nope. I just kind of want to look at it, you know, like at least know who it is, because I'm like, I figure I'll keep, I'll keep the, uh, you know, I'll keep the trader quest on my map. That way we can find more, you know, fairly easily. Oh, just reading a little scrapyard here. Don't Got arrows sell quite well? If I'm correct. Arrows? You it's said arrows. Well per five, yeah, stone arrows. Um. Well, if you have like an excess of uh, if you have an excess of uh, uh, like like a whole load of leather and everything like that, that sells pretty well. Cause you can uh, you can sell uh, you can sell air, like, you can sell leather and like you know one at a time and uh, and power level your your trader XP. Bartering. Yeah, you're bartering. That reminds me, it's like, yeah, new console versions gonna have gonna have the trader quest system. Actually, have like yo know, full on like yo know, full pledge to stuff and actually get rewards and not just uh, them be glorified uh, vending machines. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong. They yeah, basically I'm... glorified vending machines. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of it like. That. I'm like, I had that realization just now, I'm like, the trailers on this version don't, you know, it's like, you know, this is a much older version of the game, I'm like, I'm like, no offense to the traders, but you guys are basically just glorified vending machines. And you ain't wrong, that's the sad part. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm like, I just had that realization, I'm like, huh. Uh, uh, just ready to get another burnt out house here. Ah yes, more cooking pots, my favorite. I haven't seen a zombie in a while. Probably because we cleared out most of the local area, so they kind of decided to screw off. Next thing you know, a screamer rolls in and uh, starts uh, summoning in a huge horde for us. That makes sense with how I've had the furnace going for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm expecting one, because I need more XP. 
<laughs> Wait, what zombies were the XP delivery service? <laughs> I mean, it's a quick and efficient way. Yeah, just just keep letting her scream and summon more zombies. It's like not a bad idea. Wait, if you trap a screamer in like the highest tier stuff, can it just infinitely spawn so you have a freaking zombie spawner? I mean, if you just let if you just if you just let her if you just uh, let her roam around and scream as. It's like she can even spawn in more screamers. So what you're saying is that you could make up a zombie <laughs> XP farm with a. <laughs> you. That's why. That's why I was saying the other day. Like you could have basically a uh, makeshift horde knights. You're giving me ideas. Actually, I know I come back to the base and it's a. Uh, <laughs> And it's just all zombies and screamers just uh, and, uh, and and you're just gonna be like, oh hey MB, I'm uh, I'm over here just uh, farming zombies. I'll be like, you didn't care to tell me this. So it's basically going to be like American Marines on on the Chinese in North Korea. Oh. The troops were just farming the Chinese for XP. A few, <laughs> a few hundred thousand and get some. Uh, I don't typically. Death count. I don't typically joke about like those war, like uh, the like Korea and Vietnam and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, because I have I have family that's uh, veterans, but I'm like I can't help but laugh at that. <laughs> I mean, it ain't. I mean, you're not wrong. You really aren't. There's the whole meme of what everyone saw about is that the uh, you were farming them for XP. <laughs> yeah, they were just farming XP to level up. I actually just found a it's a level 17, but an iron shovel in in a car. Nice. Oh wait, not nice. Not if it was the. I'd be going, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you do realize they swap to single digits per tier, right? On PC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about Le that. <laughs> level 17. What the fuck? <laughs> Never breaks ever. <laughs> the infinite durability shovel. I mean... Never I even, know. I even use this. I even use this shovel to fight zombies, because <laughs> it just never runs out of durability. I thought about having like you know, like you know, as like kind of like transitional screens for in between scenes. You know, like uh, yeah. I have not bounced this off the uh, the like my subscribers or anything. Like I've not made a community post about it on YouTube. But I'm like, I had the thought of this idea in my head. I'm like. Yo, what would be kind of cool for, for a, hear me out here, like, for transitional screens would be if I had, a, um, say, like, you, like, you, like, I had you standing, like, you know, like, outside and, like, inside, like, Shotgun Messiah and, like, uh, working stuff tools and, like, you, you know how those old, like, uh, commercials from, like, go. and old commercials, like, the old commercials kind of go, like, where they're over the top and everything, like, yeah, you know, like where they make these ridiculous uh, deal offers. Kind of like, here's an example. Like, you know, like, say, like, you know, Shaggy Messiah, you know, kind of like have like kind of like explosions in the beginning, and then like, you know, like you kind of do like a kind of so it's like a like a redneck hillbilly voice, and uh, and like you know, talk about how good the gun selection is, and then you do like you know, like if you buy a shotgun, we'll give you a nine mil free. You know, kind of lead into the full-blown American stereotype. Can I get what I mean? Yeah, I get it. I just think that'd be kind of funny for, like, you know, as since, like, have, like, like, lore-accurate, uh, fairly lore-accurate, uh, kind of, like, in-game commercials that so would just be, like, you know, 30 seconds or something like that. Try to provide some comedic value. Oh, we're up to three dukes now. Because I found two. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Even better news, we're up to 34. 
Mm. We're we're moving our way up in the world. Definitely not me running around looking for zombies. My man's just uh, hoping for a screamer for that XP farm of his. Hey, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad idea either. I'm just like, I'm just like he's he's looking for the screamers. He's waiting for them. You realize you'll be the one that'll have to set up the trap and I'll have to kill myself to get it right to get in there. I mean. Really, like, no, you wouldn't have to kill yourself to get her in there. It would be the easiest way. I just fell off the roof of uh, our little shelter and down to the ground and then I, even though I lost like 24 health, I did not get a broken leg. Where is it? Or a leg sprain. I'm like, what the hell is this? Usually I, I just realized, I'm looking for a zombie while I'm at 8 HP. Not exactly the smartest idea. And I found lumberjack. Oh, there you go. Your your friendly neighborhood lumberjack. And I knocked him on the ground. Lovely. I'm just gonna. Well, I'm gonna go collect resources, guys, and uh, and I'll tune in with you guys once it's uh, near nighttime. All right, guys. It's getting close to nighttime again. I've done. I've been doing more uh, resource collecting for iron, and all that, and it's not looking like there's going to be much happening unless there's a screamer or something really exciting happens like that. I'm gonna leave this episode here. So I appreciate you guys if you made this far, and I uh, love you so much for watching. Have a great day.